Hey yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to our video. Today I'm presenting the top three meta decks in the season. We have the Barbarian King, we have the Monk, and the uh, and not the Skeleton King, but the Wave Master. We're going to quickly jump into our gameplay, but before that, I am going to go over a very happy announcement. I th I'm very, very thankful for Nuff.gg par uh, partnering with me, and they have already been featuring my decks in the future, promised to do that, and I'm going to add more detail in, uh, into my guide in gnaf.gg, so be sure to click the link in the description to, the, uh, to see the detailed guides for each and every deck. First of all, I'm going to go over the Barbarian King uh, deck over here. We got the Archer Barbarian and we got the Lumberjack, so do we got the Miner and the Ice Wizard. We're gonna jump into our first match and we are facing against another Barbarian King. So the thing about Barbarian King is uh, in Seashell maps is that you don't have enough minis to tank against the Seashell. So we're gonna place our stuff over here quickly and we're gonna go for... Let's remove Lumberjack again. Let's go for Archer over here. This is a good setup. We got the King Tower, which we we're probably gonna play. He's got the Pekka, which is quite interesting. We don't see that much in Barbarian King decks. He's got the boast off. He's going to kill uh, my archer with my mine with his miner. That's okay. Our invernal ability pops off late, but that's okay because we're going to win later matches. Okay. We're gonna change our match over here. Let's do this and let's do this. Let's do this. And we're gonna go over here. Let's reroll everything. We're gonna go for chill and catch the back line over here. Let's put our barbarian on top of the archer so that it doesn't get killed. Archer is really, really OP in this matchup. Okay, he's launched his Barbarian, which I expected, and the Miner's on the way to flank, which I also expected. So, I'm able to play against him with my other minis in the back line that are protecting my ranged minis. Now, the problem is that my minis are focused on the Barbarian King, which isn't going to deal me any much damage. The problem now is a solo matchup against this. He is going to heal from that and he's doing 2 damage per second uh, on hits so that I'm not able to do any damage against him, but that's okay. We're going to move uh, our setup a little to the side. Let's go over here, quick sip, and we're going to go for Miner over here. Let's go for Archer upgrades. Archer upgrades never, never go wrong, and you can always fix that if it goes wrong. Let's quickly... Red, do some rerolls for the three star archer, but that's okay. He's going to play the miner in the corner, and my lumberjack is going to hard counter that, and that's gonna be good. Lumberjack is not only a mini tank or a support, but it is very, very strong even in some situations where you have to take out the enemy king tower, for example, or, or a saint mirror uh, with the three star so that it goes berserk. We are going for king tower in the middle, and we are able to predict his prediction. This is fairly good and we got the boast over here. The Ice Wizard is slowing down the enemy Barbarian King so much that it is unable to heal anything or give much value to the P.E.K.K.A. So right now we take our first round compared to him. Let's go over, over here and we're gonna place down our minis. Let's go for Blizzard so that we can slow the P.E.K.K.A. We're going to reroll and we're going to go for rush here and rip potent. This is going to be the best and most important here. We're going to take out that war toot as soon as possible. And our ice wizard is going to deal the damage, uh, deal the uh, crowd control that the enemy needs to be able to counter, uh, hard countered by. The P.E.K.K.A. is when slowed is really, really slow and unable to deal any damage. So that's what we want. He's going to continue to launch his Barbarian to the other side, so we are going to play. Uh, and he's going to play the Miner probably on the right side. Oh, he just removed them straight up. Okay. So we gotta deal with that War 2. War 2 has gone, and we're gonna win this matchup easily. Now the only problem is we gotta get that boast out before anything, and we're good. Easily taking down all of those. And 
and we're winning against this matchup because he's unable to heal from being slowed. Uh, we get a well played right there. Very nice. All right. After that, we're gonna go for this pit. Hopefully, we're actually gonna go for critical strike. And here we have this. This is most important because. Barbarian is going to actually be valuable as a damage unit and a, and a mini tank unit after being upgraded to second star and first star, not just third star, just as a support unit for the archer so that we're able to deal some damage and we're gonna quickly go over this. Lumberjack is going to continue to tank for the flank of the seashell map over here, you see us bounce the seashell. And we're gonna go over the miner so that it's able to catch if he plays anything crazy. We got ourselves Ice Wizard very nicely done here, and the Barbarian is going to pop his boast before anything else. The War 2 is broken and everything is slowed down, and we got the round here because Barbarian, we upgraded him to 3rd star, he is able to do an insane amount of damage, and look at this attack speed. And the Barbarian King loses his invulnerable shield, and GG, good game. Very nicely done, let's move on to our second. Deck. Okay, moving on to our second deck, we got the Wave Master deck with the Valkyrie Swordsman as your main two damage dealers. We got the Mini Kepeka for the Dispit against something like Mega Knight and Battle Healer, and we have our big tank with the big damage bomb, it's Giant Skeleton, and we have our Displacement unit, which is really, really good against uh, some meta heroes and meta minis right now. Musketeer. Uh, this is going to be very, very good against many of the decks right here in this meta. Let's move away from the tiles that we see here because the monk is going to completely obliterate us if we play there. So we see we got St. Mirror, which is really, really good against monk, which you're going to play most of the time when you're playing against monk. And... We completely dodged that, which is what we want. He rushed the sauna, which is quite interesting, and he's got guard, which is not the best hero in this meta, but that's okay. It's quite interesting. We got Lob here, now we're just going to stun, and he'll easily take the earlier rounds, as Monk is always going to take the earlier rounds, normally, most of the time. He's got guard, which is the most interesting part, and we're just going to go play Mirror in the middle later. Okay. Let's quickly lob our Valkyrie on that. We're gonna play Giant Skeleton. Let's swap up. Let's not swap up, actually. Let's do this. I, I have a feeling he would still play middle, so let's actually do this. Let's play for Frenzy, and we're gonna remove Giant Skeleton and play for two for one. Let's go for Simmer in middle, and we hopefully are able to deal with something. Let's actually put our minis in middle so that's able to. Uh, if Monk plays in middle, he gets up completely obliterated. Okay, we got that. Nice. Prediction. Prediction is all about it. Okay, now the now the Monk just has to go over the same mirror and die right away. Now the problem is that Sauna is on the battle healer, and Sauna is going to be fairly, fairly nice, and we just need our Musketeer to be able to stun that, and uh, Valkyrie and Wavemaster to be able to stun and deal damage against the Bell Healer before anything else. We got the first round over here and we move our setup over here and we're just gonna go quickly and actually I'm gonna go over this. We're gonna need our Dissipit, big boy Dissipit, to deal with everything. All right. So the Valkyrie is going to do us very, very nice once we launch it so that it's able to touch the sauna. The sauna dies. We don't, uh, the sauna doesn't get any more huge value. We are going to play the anti-heal after that. He completely misses and it's on the mirror. So it's going to easily take down the, mirror, uh, take down the monk if he did. Okay, the monk is gone. Very nice. And the guard is pretty much dead. We have so many minis surrounding it, and it's gone. This is 2-1 right now. We are going to play it in the middle now. Now let's go for Big Bomb Boy over here. We're gonna play... Let's actually put it here because the Ice Wizard is on the right, and we're gonna play...
play. Then you pick on the right because, I mean, uh, Ice Wizard on the left, so that the Giant Skeleton can't tank it, and we got the Battle Healer on the left, so that's able, uh, so that we got the, uh, we got our mini Pekka to deal with this bit. Let's reroll, and we're gonna go for Humble. Humble is going to deal the main damage against the guard, and we're hoping that the monk will jump right in and take out himself against the same mirror. Uh, the only problem would be Sana, which we're gonna deal with if we lob our thing over here. He's got interesting, uh, interesting things over here. Now the only problem would be this bit. Oh, he takes himself out, but he straight goes into the Sana. Now that's a problem for me because now it's going to play what I don't want it to play, which is massive stuns and damages. Now we just need the Valkyrie to deal some damage and Wave Master to heal, and we are unable just 2 HP away from taking on that monk, but we're still 5 HP against the Polar, so this is very difficult for a matchup currently, but we're just going to do this now, and hopefully we can do it on something. We're gonna do this. We're also gonna go for stun shot and swordsman over here. Let's do this. I don't think he would move much of his setup. I feel like he would move his bowler. That's what I feel. Okay, let's do this. Yeah, this is the best. Okay. So the monk went on the giant skeleton, which is what I want. And the thing being saunaed isn't what he need. So that's really good too. I'm gonna push away that big guy over there. And miter's gone. And we're getting so much healing, so much value. Oh, nice job. Let's go, GG, three. Two, we're gonna move on to our last deck, which is a monk deck. Okay, moving on, we got our monk deck, we got the minor battle healer, we got the Pekka wizard, ice wizard, and the last is Pekka to deal the damage. So against this matchup, you want to go for minor, which is going to be preferred, but Sometimes you see some Archer Queen really insane plays where they play in front, so that's also a problem in mirror matchup. But usually, we're gonna win over here and we're good. So we silence that Lumberjack so that it's unable to give much value, but the miner is. Uh, but everything is invisible and it's going to take out our match over here, so let's deal with that next time. We're gonna go for Pekka, which is going to help us a lot. And we're gonna go for reroll on the miner and that too. Let's go for Sharp over here. I'm actually gonna remove these two and go for Heavy Blade. This is much likely what we want. And we're gonna go for War Toot because War Toot is gonna give us so much value because our deck is insanely slow when slowed by Ice Wizard. We got our good value over here although that monk didn't get much value we can take it out uh take out the main uh, the pack over here and now my monk is charged up and we pop that archer queen easy now we know he's not going to play on the right side because he played the pancaker over here the chances have been slimmed and so we're gonna play back over here let's move our setup over here let's do this Yep, yeah, this is... Hold on. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Okay, so he's got Dark Goblin, which is quite interesting for this deck, uh, which I don't see much. Monk is gonna take that out easy, and we're gonna get some more healing, and take out the Pancaker, which is also really what we need. Ooh. Now we pop that. Now the only problem is that Dark Goblin is so dealing so much damage with the Archer Queen. Now the only problem is that we got to deal with that, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna go for double healer. This double healer is the win. We're gonna go for healing wave over here, so it's able to deal with everything. 
and hopefully be able to deal as much healing and damage to the enemy Archer Queen. We predict correctly and we're going to take out Eagle right here. The Mega Knight just gone. And infinite healing. Look at that. Double healer. Insanely broken. Insanely broken. That's all I got to say. Look at that. Three blocks. Unable to do any damage to me. Even though my stuff aren't focused, you still win that. Look at that. Easy. Very nice. We are going to win this match very easily. Okay, let's go here. Uh, I'm afraid he's going to change his match up. He's going to change his setup, so let's go over here. Um, it's a little uncertain, but I'm going to play cheer over here so that it's able to. But the other ba married battle killer which just going to be spawned in the back because I have minis on left and right. Now we got a nice good prediction. I'm going to take that out easy. And we got some infinite healing now for us. We take out that Mega Knight easily, and we take out that Pancaker. Look at that infinite block. That's how broken it is. No matter how fast our Dark Goblin is, right here, we're going to take it out easy because we got infinite healing and infinite block. Three, two. Easy against Arch Queen in every single matchup. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys learned something new. And I know the season is near, but I just wanted to upload this video. Hope you guys enjoyed learn something new, and I'll see you on the next video.